In this lecture, we are going to see about the single strand binding protein. In the previous lecture, finally we have seen the points related to the helicase enzyme. The helicase is the one which acts on the double strands of the DNA and convert it into a single stranded molecules. So those single strand need to be further protected in the nature. There comes the role of a protein called as single strand binding protein. This single strand binding protein will in turn get codes on the single standard DNA that are all formed due to the helicase activity. This protein is also referred as helicase destabilizing protein. These are the class of protein which bind specifically and cooperatively there to the single strand DNA molecule after the activity of the helicase enzyme. Their main function is to protect the DNA from the action of the host nucleases. However, they don't have any known enzymatic activity. They do not even unbind the double stranded DNA. That is the reason this one is referred as a protein and not as an enzyme. Their role in the cell is believed to provide a stabilization and protection for the single stranded DNA that have been formed in the previous step by the helicases enzyme. It was thought that this single strand binding protein plays a lot of role there during the DNA replication as well as during the DNA repair process. Some classical example of single standard protein includes the protein 1 that is present in the E. coli and the phage based single strand binding protein called as a FDGP5. So they are all very specific and recognizing short base sequences there in the single standard DNA. So in this diagram you can able to see the helicase enzyme that has been binding there and converting into single standard thing. Those super coils are removed there by topoisoberase. Whatever single strand that have been formed due to the helicase activity are stabilized by just attachment of the single strand binding protein there. After the activity of the helicase enzyme and through the formation of single standard DNA and the protection of the single standard DNA with the help of single strand binding protein, the next important enzyme that plays a major role there in the DNA replication is primase. It is also referred as DNA primase. It can able to polymerize the molecules of ribonucleotide triphosphate as well as deoxyribonucleotide triphosphates especially in the 5 dash to 3 dash direction to form a short stretch of oligonucleotides which attach to the single strand DNA template. That is this kind of a short small primer like sequence are required for the DNA polymerase enzyme to start the process of replication. In E. coli this primase is actually a enzyme that is obtained from the gene named DNA G. It synthesizes RNA short stretch of primers and this kind of primer formation is very important to extend the DNA synthesis both in the leading strand and especially important there in the lagging strand in order to form the Okasaki fragments. This Okasaki fragments we will see detail in the coming classes. Primase either recognize a specific region of the DNA directly or more commonly it required cooperation of various other enzymes and protein. That is primase can easily able to bind to a pre-primosome that results in the formation of primosome. This slides shows you what is the difference between a pre-primosome and a primosome. Pre-primosome is shown there in the pink circle inside. The pre-primosome complexes comprises of a partially opened DNA, single strand binding protein that is attached to it. And before that, the helicase enzyme is the one which unbinds the DNA and form into single strand DNA molecule. And before that, gyrase is the one which separates the super coils that have been present near to the DNA replication process. And chaperon. Chaperon refers to 
certain heat shock protein that are associated there with this particular process. So all this complex forms together into pre-primosome complex. You look at it in the explanation there on the right hand side. In the presence of ATP, a complex of DNA B and DNA C protein, which are collectively refers to the helicase enzyme, and in the presence of other proteins, what I have listed, that is gyrase, chapron, and single strand binding protein, they form into a pre-primosome complex. Okay, what are pre-primosome or primosome? What is this important? Pre-primosome or primosomes are all refers to massively processing enzyme complexes that are involved in the replication process. So if you look at whatever that have been shown there in the pink circle are all forms together into a large complex of pre-primosome. This pre-primosome when it is rightly recognized there by a DNA primase enzyme it forms into primosome. So, a pre-primosome is recognized and bound by the DNA G product that is primase enzyme to form into a complete structure which is referred as a primosome. A short RNA primer synthesis occurs within the domain of the primosome especially to start the replication process.